What's going on everybody and welcome to the 100 subscriber Q&A special. I have to knock this out pretty fast so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with question number one and two from Dysfunctional Panda. Can you say subscribe to Minecraft building tutorials pretty please? I just said that. Number two from Dysfunctional Panda. Can you say my name please? I've said it twice already. Hayden Frapp, how old are you and what's your favorite movie? I am 28 years old and if I'm not mistaken my favorite movie is The Big Lebowski. Savage Toast with question number four asks, what's a guilty pleasure of yours that you have? Sometimes when I'm home alone and it's dark, I like to come into the living room here and turn on the laptop and make ASMR videos. <clears throat> Anna Hood asks, what do you do for fun or hobby? Sometimes when I'm alone and it's dark, I like to come into the living room here and sit down, turn on my laptop and make ASMR videos. Question number six is from Rocket Samurai. Rocket Samurai asks, where do you see this channel in a year? What's your favorite food? And if you don't mind me asking, is there ever going to be a live reveal? Uh, this channel, one year from this date, should have at least 5,000 subscribers. If it does not, then I am a failure. Uh, my favorite food would have to go to sushi. Uh, is there ever going to be a live reveal? That is a very big possibility. We've talked about doing stuff together on this channel before. Question number seven, Bubba Juice. Have you ever reached out to any other content creators who would compliment you best? Have I? Yes, but only a couple really small ones. I'm going to start reaching out to bigger creators because all they can really do is say no, and they're not really obligated to do anything with me, so we'll see. Who would compliment you best? Um, I don't think that uh, <laughs> pretty much anybody is better than me, so it's not really a case of uh, complimenting me so much as it is a case of they would be carrying me. Uh, Mountain Mama with question number eight asks, why did you want to start creating ASMR? Uh, I wanted to give back to the community that helps me. It's as simple as that. Uh, I know from my personal experience what helps me, and I try to incorporate that into my videos, despite the fact that I'm not very good at it yet. Um, uh, next part of Mountain Mama's question is, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. Uh, does your family or friends know that you're an ASM artist? I am not an ASM artist. I am a guy who does ASMR. I do not believe that I've earned the title of ASM artist yet. If so, what do they think about ASMR? Uh, neutral. Everybody who knows that I do this is completely neutral about it. Uh, question number nine from Tom Prince. Who's your favorite ASMR artist and why? Also, why don't you get more equipment? Uh, I'll answer the second part first. I don't get more equipment because I don't have money. Uh, the first part, who's your favorite ASMR artist and why is Mardo ASMR? Because I feel like he has pretty much everything down. I feel like he's been doing it long enough. He has a really nice like background. I'm pretty sure it's his house or apartment or whatever. Obviously, I'm lacking in that department. Uh, he uses uh, very warm colors uh, in his surroundings, and he's just all around really good with all of his triggers. And I feel like you know, me and him are about the same age. Uh, and I feel like when you feel a little bit more connected to the uh, ASMR creator that you watch, it kind of like amplifies things a little bit. So that's why. Uh, question number ten is from Wasini Wasini. How did you find yourself being an AMA? I'm an artist. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to give back to the community that helps me and try and put my own self into it. Uh, question number 11 comes from Rita Gamer. How's your life as a pirate? It's fantastic. I actually sailed all eight seas. Uh, if anybody tries to tell you that there's seven, they need to get out more. Question number 12 is David the Savage. Do you have a job? If you do, do you like it? I do have a job. I do like the work that I do, and I do like the people that I work with, but I don't like the fact that the corporate machine keeps on cutting everything hours makes things really depressing if you've been here for a while uh, you may have seen my update video where i said that i had my power shut off and i couldn't film for a couple days because i couldn't afford the bill and that is entirely because my work keeps on making cutbacks uh joel record with question number 13 says who are your top five favorite asm artists also have you thought about a name for your subscribers i am willing to call my subscribers the pirates because i feel like we are all equal so if i'm pirate you're pirate you know what i mean as for the top five favorite ASMRs, there's Marno ASMR at place number one. I have to give number two to Lo-Fi ASMR. Uh, number three would be Night Shift ASMR. Number four would probably go to probably Raffi, Raffi Daffy. And number five, I feel like that is so, uh, like that's so much lower on the list. A lot of people can take that spot. That could change it like any day for me, you know what I mean? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Number 14. Uh, it's actually six uh, six questions altogether. This is from Wote. Question number one, how young are you? The answer is not very. Question number two, do you have any kids? If so, how many? I have three kids. Um, what state do I live in? I live in a state of chaos. 
how many subs do you think you'll have by 2019? If we are talking about like January 1st, 2019, I want to say around 500 if I keep on working really hard. Question number five, what car do you drive? I drive a four-door Nissan uh, sedan. Question number six, do you speak any other languages other than English? If so, say a sentence. Okay, get ready for this. I don't. All right, moving on to question number 15. We have Alucard. And question number one, what is or are your favorite triggers? My favorite triggers are dabbing and brushing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I like ripping sounds. Uh, I occasionally enjoy like a crackling, less of a crackling, more of a crackling, like sharper sounds. If you all remember my purple case from the first video I ever did. Uh, do, 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 do. do you get tingles from your own videos? I almost get tingles from no videos. In fact, the majority of the time I get tingles, it's only in my left leg and it only happens like maybe once a week if I'm lucky. So definitely not from my own stuff. What is your real first name? Um, check out the movie Dodgeball and check to see what that pirate's name is and we share the same name. Uh, question number four, what music do you listen to? I listen to rock and roll. Uh, the majority of the time I would say at least 80% everything from like classic stuff like Beatles and Elvis all the way forward to modern stuff and pretty much every genre of rock. Uh, do, do, do. Question number five from Alucard. Now what's your perfect ASMR channel look like? So basically what would you want your channel to be in terms of content, sub count, Patreon, etc.? Um, as far as content goes, I know that I can do way better. I feel like I'm maybe a C or C plus content creator right now, and I would like to feel proud enough of my work to call it an A. Um, as supportive as everybody is to comes here and everything, uh, I can almost say without a shadow of a doubt that nobody who is here or watching this video right now would call me their favorite ASM artist. Um, and someday I hope to change that. I hope my content is good enough to where at least a handful of people are like, that's my ASM art guy. You know what I mean? Um, as far as sub count goes, whatever uh, whatever happens happens I want to keep on doing this for as long as possible so we'll, we'll just see uh, patreon uh, I'm actually gonna set one of those up it'll be in the description from this point forward because there are some things uh, that, that I would like to start uh, adding to the channel and everything Question 16, Cube Like Harry says, what is the number one thing on your bucket list? Uh, we'll just go with my YouTube bucket list for that because I don't really have a bucket list yet, but I would definitely have to say uh, just collaborating. I would like to collaborate with at least uh, five people by mid next year, and I don't care if they're big channels or small channels. I just want to do collaborations. I want to, I want to broaden the ASMR community. I really like the community. I like the viewers. I like the commenters from like all of the different ASMR artists videos and stuff like that but I feel like there is I, I just I feel like a lot of people like each other but more people need to be interacting um, it's something that youtubers used to do all the time and they seldom do nowadays and I think if there's any communities it should be doing that it's the ASMR community that's just my opinion though so, uh, let's see we have new questions from Alucard in here uh, where are you from are you by any chance from Germany as well I saw you respond Danke under one comment couldn't hear the typical German accent, though, like the one ASMR as I get. No, I am actually, well, if you want to get technical, I am German, I am Italian, and I am Mexican, um, but I'm not from Germany. Uh, I have some friends from Germany, and obviously the ancestry, you know, we occasionally use a little bit of lingo, but I don't, uh, I don't speak the language, um, and I'm not from Germany. Uh, question number two from Alucard. Uh, how young are you? Again, not very. I'm 28, so I'm getting there. Question number three, what kind of music do you listen to? We already went over that one because I think that I had just gone over your first list. Uh, number four, triggers that I personally love and cannot stand. I love tapping. I love brushing. I love uh, cupping. Like that isolated sound or like the kind of cupping that you would get from something like this. Where you can really tell it's focusing on one. The 3DO microphone is really good for that. Uh, triggers that I cannot stand. There are really a whole lot of triggers that I can't stand. There are some that I really just don't listen to. And my request video, somebody asked me to scratch on cardboard, and that like literally almost brings me to vomiting. Uh, but it's not the sound, it's the actual action of doing it. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of eating. Uh, when, when people do like eating channels, if I had to say that there was something that absolutely drives me 100% crazy is when people do the I tried ASMR videos and they are just acting like idiots. 
I know that sounds really like petty and salty and stuff, but the way I look at it is if I had a 2.5 million subscriber channel and I said I'm going to try a makeup tutorial and I just acted like a complete jerk and tried to make you look bad, that wouldn't be cool, so I don't see why that should happen in our community. So yeah, that assault is off the table. Uh, question number five, dream mic and equipment. Uh, okay, so my dream microphone is actually the Blue Yeti. I have it. I love it. I feel like it is the most universal microphone, especially for ASMR. It is a classic. It's never going anywhere. Um, I would like to get dual microphones at some point. I'm not sure which ones I want yet, though. Um, as far as the camera goes, I would like to get PJ Dream's camera, which is the uh, Lumix FC300, I believe. Fantastic. Uh, it's kind of like a budget camera, but it has amazing quality. You can get it for, I think, under $300. And honestly, I feel like it rivals some of the more known uh, cameras like the Canon T6i, T7i. Um, and it's like half the price. So I, I never shoot for like the high cost stuff. Um, oh, another piece of equipment that I'm actually going to be working on is I'm getting ready to make a sound booth. Um, DIY style, so that's going to be exciting just because I really need to block everything out, and that includes like my laptop and everything. By the time I get that set up, we are talking like should be pretty darn close to crystal clear audio with no interference with anything. <coughs> uh, how would your perfect ASMR channel look like in terms of some count? Okay, we answered that one. Is there any advice you would give to someone who turned 20 based on your experience? Don't be asking for a friend, not me. Um, if you haven't already, never start smoking cigarettes ever at all. It is the worst thing on the planet. Um, see life advice for when you're 20. Uh, it's a really good thing to understand that it's perfectly okay if you don't understand all of the adult things in the world. For me personally, I really didn't start to get a grip of, uh, I don't, I don't know, without making it sound like I was being immature. I feel like at some point when I turned 25, just all of these different doors opened in my mind. I started seeing things from different perspectives. I started really understanding a lot more. It just came out of nowhere. I'm not saying like 25 is that magic number or anything, but it just seemed like stuff that would confuse me or stuff that I didn't understand, like why people would do more. Basically, I feel like at that age, I've learned officially how to adult. So I would say just like don't discourage yourself. Um, always listen to people who are willing to give you advice as long as it feels like it's good advice in your gut, as long as there are tried and true, um, as long as there are tried and true reasons to believe that they're successful. Like if somebody says, you know, you should do this in this situation, look at the outcome that it had for them, and if it worked, then, then, you know, maybe trust them a little bit more. But, you know, if you're talking to your Uncle Bubba, who's like, lost every job he's ever had, and he tells you, you know, hey, go do this, don't listen to Uncle Bubba. Um, yeah, take advice from those who have been successful around you. I guess another big thing would be learn from other people's mistakes, not necessarily your own. Obviously, you always want to learn from your own mistakes, but I feel like I have avoided a lot of problems in life by watching what other people in my social circle have made mistakes in. Um, yeah, that's actually probably some of the best advice I could give. You're always going to make mistakes yourself, but look at what other people are doing and look at how it affects them and try to make that your strength and understanding. Uh, yeah, so that's that. I think that that's all the questions. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll go ahead and pop over to YouTube really quick just to double check. But I am fairly certain that we covered everything. Oh yeah, somebody actually came over to my uh, my roleplay video that I recently did and left a dislike, so that was super nice of them. And uh, they were a little bit rude in the comment section too. So 100 subscribers and my first dislike, all right. Uh, well, that looks good. So I just wanted to go ahead and wrap up here and say, thank you guys so much for being here. It's a big deal. You are a big deal because you are my first 100 subscribers. That means that you are the people over here since since the beginning anything that i do from this point forward you will always be my first 100 subscribers now i can't see who all of you are especially if you like don't leave comments and stuff like that um if i go to the subscription list in my youtube channel it will only show me people who allow me to see so i can probably out of the 100 and i think 15 that i have right now i think i can only see something like 70 so i'm gonna go ahead and get uh, a page of all of them printed out well everybody from this point uh back to the beginning even if it's over the 100 or ever i'm gonna print out a picture of everybody that's on that list
list and I'm going to go ahead and have it framed uh, as like a piece of memorabilia uh, just so I always have you guys you know right there with me but um, that'll be my 100 subscriber play button in my mind you know what I mean so again I just want to thank everybody thank you for being here um, we're gonna step up the content it's gonna happen it's just it takes me a little while um, I said earlier I was working on making a sound booth I literally have to save up the money for that $15 per paycheck which is every two weeks so about $30 a month um, the total cost of it is probably gonna be around uh, maybe just a little over $100 like maybe 110 120 uh, so based on that we are looking at about about four months before I get that up and running um, again uh, I will be making a patreon to hopefully help that out obviously I'm not asking I'm just saying that's going to be a part of it in case you did want to support the channel. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the sounds that I'm assuming that I will lay over this. Uh, it's time.